and go Hey guys, so I'm starting out with some NYX Pore Filler Primer, just applying that all over my face, and then I'm taking my MAC Hyper Real Foundation in Rose Gold FX on a Sigma F60, and I'm just painting that all over my face. And then for foundation, I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in Light Medium Sand, and just blending that out with a beauty blender. Then to cream contour, I took the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in deep and I applied far too much and it was a little bit too warm. I don't know, I've used this in the past and it was fine. I think I just used a lot less but I did my best to blend it out and then I tried to like blend the edges with my beauty blender again. Then I'm taking Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand and I'm just applying this under my eyes and the center of my face and I'm blending it out using my beauty blender once again. And then to set all of my concealer, I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light Plus, and I'm just pushing that into all of those concealed areas. And then to powder contour and kind of set the cream contour, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in Dolce de Leche. De Leche? Oh my gosh, I cannot speak whatever language that is. Then for blush, I took MAC Melba, applied that to my cheeks. And for highlight, I took the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten and applied that to all of the high points of my face. I forgot how beautiful this highlighter is. Then I just set everything down with the NYX Mattifying Setting Spray. Then moving on to my eyes, I took the shade Hayride from Makeup Geek and I just buffed this all into my crease and all underneath the lower lash line with an E40. Then taking the shade Summer Lovin', which is the most beautiful color ever. I'm doing the exact same thing. This is just going to give me a nice, warm, peachy shade in my crease. Then I'm taking the shade Apple Spice, and I'm using a MAC 217 to buff this into the outer corner and then bring it in through the crease. This look is super grungy, so you can be messy with it. Then I'm taking the shade Cherry Cola, which is also from Makeup Geek, and I'm just doing the exact same thing. We're just layering those colors and gradually going deeper and deeper. Then dipping into the shade Grunge, I again am doing the exact same thing. Building it up in the outer corner, I'm really patting it into that outer corner and then taking the rest of my shades into the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm just going back in with my E40 with no product and I'm blending all of my edges. And then just back in with the 217 again and I'm just making sure everything was super seamless. Then I'm taking the foiled eyeshadow called Showtime which is this beautiful burgundy foiled goodness and I'm using my finger to pack this on my lid and in the inner corner of the lower lash line. Then I'm taking the shade Corrupt, which is a matte black, and I'm building this in the outer corner, and then again, taking it through the crease. I got really messy on the lower lash line, as you can see. I tried to fix it, but it just was not happening. So I'm mixing Apple Spice and Summer Lovin' just to add some more warmth back into the crease on my E40 and kind of just smoke everything out. And then I'm taking a black liner, this one's the Sigma Longwear Liner Pencil and I'm tight lining, putting it in my waterline and I'm also just smudging some along my upper lash line just to help hide my fake lash band. For mascara, I'm taking MAC Bold and Bad Lash which is one of my favourite mascaras to be honest, I love it. So I'm applying it and then I'm taking the shade Mirage and I'm just highlighting the brow bone, this is just a matte shade and it just kind of helps blend everything out as well and then taking the shade shimmer shimmer and I'm highlighting the inner corner then I'm just going back in with corrupt and I actually wet my brush and I'm just pressing this into the lash line just to give it a nice soft smoky kind of effect and I'm just doing that on the lower lash line as well and I'm taking my little mini brush and I'm just applying some lower lash mascara and then for falsies, I'm taking the Ardell 
120 Demi Naturals, which are super pretty lashes. And then finally for lips, we are lining with MAC Boldly Bear Lip Liner, which is one of my favorite, actually probably is my favorite. And then to fill them in, I'm taking MAC Modesty, which is an absolutely beautiful color and it goes perfectly with a burgundy eye. And that is everything for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.